Hello, my friends, and welcome back to The Morning Mindset. I hope you are ready to get your mind aligned with the truth of God. And in this series called Mind War, we are seeking to do that in a very specific way. We are looking at truths from God's Word and applying them to specific situations we face day to day. Today, we're going to be talking about those situations where you are doubting whether or not God can use you in a circumstance or in a situation. We're going to get there in just a moment. But first, I'd like to point out that on the Carrie Green website, carriegreen.com, there is a store page where there's all kinds of things like t-shirts, stickers, books, things to help you in your spiritual walk and to make your faith in Christ known that you might be interested in. Please go check it out at carriegreen.com. Okay, I think I want to start out today by sharing with you a certain experience in my own life. When I was in college and I was looking at all the options for what I should do, I had this desire deep down to do something that mattered, to do something that would advance the kingdom of God. But I also had this deep-seated kind of insecurity where I wasn't sure what I was actually equipped to do. I felt very unconfident and kind of incompetent because I hadn't seen much success in my life to that point on a spiritual sense. I had sought to learn about the Lord. I had sought to learn how to pray, and I was stumbling and fumbling and all of those things. And I came across this passage in 2 Corinthians chapter 3, verses 4 through 6, that spoke powerfully to me about the situations that I would face in life. And friends, I want you to consider this the next time that you start to believe or feel that God can't use you, whether it's because of failures you've experienced or sins in your past, or that the circumstance in front of you is just too big and you feel like you're not the one to address it. Friends, listen to the words of 2 Corinthians chapter 3, verses 4-6 through 6, and realize how this truth can be used to kill those thoughts of doubt when they come up. The Apostle Paul tells us, such is the confidence that we have through Christ toward God. Not that we are sufficient in ourselves to claim anything as coming from us, but our sufficiency is from God, who has made us sufficient to be ministers of a new covenant not of the letter, but of the Spirit. For the letter kills, but the Spirit gives life. Now, friends, this is such an amazing, reassuring passage of Scripture. Because those times when we feel unconfident, like I did, we need to flip the script. We need to change our perspective because it's not an issue of whether or not we are confident. It's not an issue of whether or not we have competence. It's an issue of who our God is and what he has determined he's going to do through our lives. Notice what Paul says. We have confidence through Christ. Our sufficiency is from God, is what Paul says. He has made us sufficient to be ministers of a new covenant. Now, that doesn't mean you're going to become a pastor or you're going to become some missionary, though that could be in God's plan for you. But what it means is right where you are in the life God has given you to live, you have opportunities to minister to people. You have opportunities to bless someone, to help them in their time of need, to love them as they need loved in that moment. You have opportunities to speak the truth to them in whatever the circumstance may be. And through doing any and all of those things, you are competent because of Jesus who lives in you. So, my friends, next time you get those nagging doubts that you don't have what it takes, maybe you should pull out 2 Corinthians 3, 4 through 6 and agree with that doubt. You're exactly right. I don't have what it takes. But Jesus in me is my sufficiency. It comes directly from my Father, and He is competent to do whatever He wants to do in me and through me in this circumstance. So, friends, do you see what you're doing? You're pulling out that dagger of 2 Corinthians 3, 4 through 6, and you're killing that doubt. You're killing that fear. You're killing that hesitance because you know who your God is. 
and what he can and will do through you. Lord God, fill us up with the confidence that comes from faith in 2 Corinthians 3, 4 through 6. Show us how you can and will use us and give us the faith to step into the circumstances that seem intimidating to us and yet you want to use us. Lord, show us how to rest in confidence that you are working, how to move forward knowing that your power will come online exactly when we need it. We ask you to do this in the name of Jesus, our Savior. Amen. Pray with me, friends, for world spiritual renewal. Our God, we know that you work in this world through your people. We repent of our lack of faith. We repent of putting the focus on ourselves and our own insecurities rather than looking to you and expecting you to do great things in us and through us. So, Lord God, we repent of our self-centeredness. We repent of being a hindrance to your plan by refusing to step out in faith, believing you will work through us. So, Lord, guide us now in greater faith that we will live out the gospel in the way that we love people, the way that we confidently in faith step into situations. And, Lord, do your work to bring about transformation in those we're loving, those we're serving, those we are ministering to. Show yourself to be mighty, powerful, and transformative in their lives. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen.